From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Andrew Adams. Always love to get those pictures in, and we get some scenes from our storm trackers. We had several out this morning, some broken power poles there. Obviously been an issue, fortunately, on the bright side of things. We've seen our uh, power outage number go down and down, which is good. We've seen our rainfall look a little bit less like this. The flooding has been going down, but we have had trackers out. This was in Edmond, a creek there, running very fast and very high. Never, ever want to see a kid wade into any water that is uh, rushing quite like that, or even like this. This is down near Sulphur. Jeremy Carter was down there, not running quite as fast, but that is still some impressive uh, uh, flooding going on there. You can see some debris flowing over this road, and I bet you anything, I mean, that's a road, but you see these ripples? I guarantee you that road is no longer smooth underneath. You never know what roads look like underneath water. So you never want to do what these people are doing, which is driving in them. Now, obviously, this is a little bit different than some of these uh, backcountry road that Jeremy was looking at, whereas these are much easier to wash out. But still, always better to play it safe than sorry. And as far as the wind goes that did some of this kind of damage with these power poles, we can see that on Lynx 2, as some of these storms, when they moved through earlier, did a little bit of a downburst effect. You have these greens and blues moving toward the radar, the red moving away from the radar, and you had just torrential rainfall and then incredibly strong straight line winds in either direction. So radar picks up on 40 to 50, could have been 60 plus miles per hour as it moved through. Over on Lynx 1, we could see where all the storms are now, and that is essentially out of the state. Our lightning tracker has been going down and down and down. The rain has been moving down into far southeastern Oklahoma. We're dry here across the metro. Still a little cloudy, though. When all is said and done, though, over the last 14 days, almost eight and a half inches of rain here in Oklahoma City through uh, areas of western Oklahoma, some locations close to 9 or 10 inches of rain, some 5 to 6 for our eastern counties in our uh, actual viewing area, far eastern Oklahoma, anywhere from 1 to 3 to 5 inches of rain. So point being, tons of rain all across, but it's amazing to see the bullseye over central Oklahoma. Seven and a half, Midwest City in Norman, almost seven in El Reno, 8.91 in Watonga, 8.11 in Kingfisher, some really high rainfall amounts. And for the entire months of July, we're only 11 days in, we're already fifth all time in our record book. So it's been an incredibly wet start to the month. Today is going to trend drier though. Again, all the rain is moving out. The clouds will slowly move out as well. Already seeing some sun break out in western and northwestern Oklahoma. We'll see a little bit more sun later this afternoon here across central Oklahoma. And we have some hotter afternoons ahead. Not today, but uh, tomorrow and the next couple of afternoons, things are looking a bit hot. But I want you to pay attention on where that high pressure summer heat ridge uh, builds up and stays. Again, it's never quite over us as we head into the weekend. So we'll continue that unsettled pattern for some more overnight storm chances Friday and through our weekend ahead. But then beyond the weekend, we're going to start noticing that the heat dome, it kind of creeps back, starts to suppress things a little bit. We could be a little bit drier, a little bit quieter potentially by the middle and end of next week. But again, this coming weekend, something we will be monitoring. Guthrie Cam is dry. We've got a few clouds overhead and a little bit of a blanket there on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. 70 Current air temperature, it is comfortable here across the metro. Starting to see the mid-70s creep in, though. 75 in Kingfisher, 74 in both Guthrie and El Reno, but upper 70s in portions of southwest and northwest Oklahoma, where we're starting to break that sun out a little bit more. It's getting a little bit warmer, just a little bit quicker. Winds gusting 8 to 20 miles per hour here across the metro with some lighter wind gusts to the northwest. No one's nearly as windy as we were overnight when those storms came through. It was very, very windy this afternoon. 85 to uh, mid-80s here across the metro with some 90s out west. Could be pushing 100 degrees in Altus overnight. Some 70s for us, a pretty mild one before we jump back into the 90s tomorrow afternoon. 95 Oklahoma City, more triple-digit heat to the southwest and some mid to upper 90s to the north. It is going to be a hot afternoon. It will feel like summer. Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday could feel a little bit warm, but there's the stretch again as we head into the weekend of some overnight thunderstorm chances. Not each and every one is going to be the same, but it's a pattern that we typically see this time of year, especially in June. So it's fun that it's hanging around all the way through August, but giving us some drought busting rain. 
can't complain too much about that. Heating up through the middle of next week.